fuck this shit. You feel better now? Feel? E. You know, that's a problem. What? That's a problem. E? With this generation. Oh, check in with your friends. Normalized gaslighting, toxic mental manifesting. Where? You're so busy talking about happiness and unpacking trauma. You miss the point. That man. you're just supposed to stay out the way, make money, and have fun. E. E. It's not working. Still sad. What? Still sad. I asked everyone who knows me as Hubert, my real name, how to be happy. Everyone I asked had a unique response to the happiness question, but they were all boring. So I read this book called Happier, written by the professor who teaches Harvard's most popular class ever, how to be happy. And that was boring too. Harvard kids are clearly mid. Overthinking happiness takes away time you should just be spending watching porn. Well, the book wasn't all bad. I finished it in two days. There was one good quote in it. Some philosopher, Henry Socrates, said, nothing is inherently good or bad. Thinking about it makes it so. And it got me thinking like, yeah, morality is kind of this made up idea by more powerful people so that they can make laws to govern us. And I was thinking like, has anyone else lightened up to murder? No, just no. It used to sound really bad. M -m -mur -mur. Now I want to hear both sides. No one else grew up like Batman may beat people up, but he's a good person because he doesn't kill. Yeah, he puts them in a coma for an eighth. Maybe he should just kill or stay home and pay people too because you're a billionaire, Batman. Why are you beating up the perk plug? Where's the mayor? I don't know, Batman. I just want a Mary's. I'm a bat. If you murder somebody and get away with it, that's kind of impressive. Don't come near me, but you know, tell me about it in an eight part documentary. Wow, you a whole murderer. How to be happy is written by a guy that looks like real life Flanders because his problem isn't survival, it's boredom. Self-help books and videos and classes, the whole self-help idea targets bums bored at work or their jobless bored at home and reading that self-help book will motivate them enough to go get a boring job. And I'm trashing the book because it's funnier than praising it, but it does kind of break down our most basic necessities to be happy. Passion, financial freedom, and relationships. Or IG, PPP, and your raw bitch. Now let me summarize a Harvard education in two minutes with ad libs. The whole first third of the book is about why you need to set long-term goals so you can work at something your entire life. Be so busy, you have no time for murder. You need to find your calling, and it can't be too easy because then you'll be 40 with nothing to do, and it can't be too difficult because you'll fail. Work is crucial not just because it's your purpose, but because if you chill too much, you'll get depressed. We don't know how to be useless. Even with financial freedom, abs, and a bad bitch, you can't be in Dubai buy more than a week before she goes to your phone. I'm not mad, but who's this bitch that keeps, okay then, fuck Dubai, fuck it. We work because our purpose is to contribute. It's like when you see a thousand ants walking in a single file line, each one carrying a little ant-sized chunk of a leaf, and you're like, oh, that's kind of like how we live in a society. The most valuable currency is happiness. Nothing else should logically come before that. Ants know that, they're literally born and get to the bag. We fucked up thinking the most important currency is money, power, or fame. That's why Disney stars are heating up spoons. In the book, there was this good example. If you have the option to either take one million dollars or have a conversation with a friend ultimately you should choose the option that makes you happier in the long term what if the conversation was hey friend here's two million dollars you'd be like oh that huber guy was right the reason we chase money and status is for the hope that it unlocks a little happiness it's funny how simple it sounds broken down like that people spend their whole lives chasing what they could just be don't chase the bad bitch when it's you the whole time no amount of success satisfies forever long-term serotonin comes from enjoyment in your daily life helping other people out contributing to something you believe in and if studies show anything it's how obviously we need community to function it's funny how we all have this common interest of just being happy Happy, but we continue letting our egos in the way. Romantic relationships work when both partners elevate each other. You could both be happy on your own, but when both partners sacrifice and work together, it's likely you'll both be happier than it would be possible without each other. Plus you get ahead. Being that loud, toxic couple crying, fighting on the sidewalk, is fun in the moment, but long term, just say sorry. Just stop looking through his phone, bro. Like, why do you do all that detective work just to make yourself cry, bitch? Like, I swear to God, this bitch is like, she just wants to be mad, bro. If all the world leaders sat down at a table and agreed, yeah, Putin, yeah, other guy, happiness is the most important currency. We would get rid of money, borders, religion, TikTok. Everyone could just run around naked eating berries off the bush. Is that a good place to end it? Wait, what? How is that possible? What? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yo, thanks for the 
Thanks for watching. This video was sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community with literally thousands of classes from productivity, photography, creativity. I don't know if you noticed, but for the past couple months, I've been kind of like losing that, that creative. Mm. I felt like I had more of that creative spark back when I was in college, so I've been trying to use Skillshare to get some of that back. There's a lot of really good classes on productivity and creativity, but the one that's been helping me the most is this one on iPhone photography, because your boy just hit 100K on a gram. I'm a sheep now, I got an iPhone. Classes like that I really like because they're unique and they're also very effective because I didn't know anything about H turning on HDR. I didn't know about turning off live photo or that it records the sound. One time I was sending a live photo to my girl to be like, yo, I'm just like chilling at the crib and then you can hear voices in the back of the live photo. First thousand people to click my link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership and then it's only around 10 bucks a month. You feel what I'm saying? This video was executive produced by tier four and Patreon. Big shout out to them. If you want more secret videos, my podcast and editing tutorials, go to my Patreon. I think that I think that's all.